Yeah, I was born in um, Durango, Colorado, and I now uh, live in Cortez, Colorado. Um, I would say nine months out of the year, and uh, the other three months I'm, I'm in Southern California, obviously uh, based here because of Supercross training, and, and there's a lot of races out here also. Um, but then going back to Colorado, um, you know, we have a uh, alfalfa farm there, and I, I was lucky enough to have my own track there because in that area there's not a lot of actual racetracks to go to, so. Um, I was lucky enough to have that land to grow up on and, and get, um, get on a dirt bike, I guess. Yeah, my dad um, was a previous professional mountain biker, so um, he knows a lot about training and he still trains with me, um, still goes with the rides, rides with me and goes to most of the races, so um, he's a good guy to have in my corner. If it's riding that day, get up early, be riding by maybe 9 o'clock. Um, get finished around noon or so, maybe a little bit after, it depends what your schedule is, if you do motos or sections, um, whatever it may be, and then uh, sometimes we'll do a mountain bike ride after that, or, or if I'm not um, on the motorcycle, you know, we'll be doing a bigger mountain bike ride, so, um, you know, I do, I do a lot of cross training um, for that, like cycling and running, but it's not like I'm doing that every single day, because you also have to have those days that you recover too. A recovery day for me is um, going out to the golf course, playing 18 holes, having some fun with the friends, and uh, that's kind of like my getaway from motocross. And I would say the best memory as an amateur is just traveling around the country in your truck and trailer. Um, it's pretty gnarly. Uh, it's pretty crazy how committed your family has to be to actually getting you to the races, like driving to Tennessee or Florida, wherever that amateur national would be. So. Um, I would say those are the memories, it's just being with the family and going on those um, crazy road trips. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say about this one. Man, I w no one can have a, I guess, a perfect, perfect life or a perfect year or race, so um, I don't know, that, that's a tough one for me to answer. I would say my worst racing performance would maybe maybe be um, maybe Salt Lake City 2013 Supercross. <laughs> um, it was a little bit of a combination of me me not being comfortable on my motorcycle, so um, that was probably one of the most disappointing races. I would say I learned that you have to um, be able to adapt to different sections on the tracks tracks and have your uh, motorcycle tuned to a certain section, like a big set of whoops. Um, so those are things you have to kind of uh, conquer before the race. Man, I, I guess when I was growing up, the guys I looked up to um, were like Ricky Carmichael and Chad Reed, James Stewart. I never really, really followed one single guy or really looked up to one person, but um, those were the couple guys that uh, I really admired and enjoyed watching. If you came to my house for dinner, I would uh, cook you guys up some elk steak because I'm a big archery elk hunter, so I would uh, give you some of that. I think my biggest fan would be my mom. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's always there for me and she, um, she's my biggest fan. Yeah, outside of sports, if I wasn't a professional motocrosser, Honestly, I don't know what I'd be doing. Um, I do have a brother that's in the Air Force, so he kind of took a different route there. Um, I don't know if I would be, if I have the brains to do that or if I'd want to do it, but that would maybe, maybe I would do it, maybe not, I'm not sure. You know, right now I don't really have any specific plans on what I'm gonna do after I'm done um, racing Supercross and motocross. Um, it would be nice to go and take a year or two to kind of figure out what you're gonna do, but. Uh, Definitely have plenty of thinking time to, to do that before I get done. The most recent thing that's impressed me on the track is seeing James Stewart um, wheelie off of a step on, step off. And that was at one of the Anaheim races this year in 2014. So that's the most recent thing that I was like, wow, that's, that's awesome. If I could do one race over, it would be 
2011 Las Vegas Supercross. I felt like I rode a little bit tight in that main and I actually ended up losing the championship because I didn't beat the guy that I needed to beat. The baddest guy I know on a motorcycle, um, pure skill, and his best bike, bike skills would be either James Stewart or Kevin Windham. Uh, James does certain things on the track that blows your mind, like, I don't know, it could be a huge rhythm section. Um, or even sometimes how he gets out of a crash. Like, you know, like most guys would just be yard sailed on the ground where he survives it and he stays on the bike. So he just does a little bit of everything that uh, kind of blows your mind. I think it would be cool to compete against McGrath in his prime time. Um, obviously, he won a lot, so he'd probably be probably beating you or beating me. So I think, but to be on the track would be cool. It would be cool.